I know that we normally talk about Starlink, but I want to keep you guys up to date on everything that's going on in the low Earth orbit. And we have some new details about Amazon's Project Kuiper. So when can we expect service? Well, probably not until 2025. We know this after new information was announced in a blog post. Amazon plans to test out its Kuiper satellites late next year, and these will be the first prototype of the broadband satellites. They'll be launched in quarter four of 2022. Amazon's Project Kuiper will be nearly four years behind when SpaceX's Starlink launched its own prototype satellites. Amazon said in a blog post they filed an experimental license application with the FCC to launch, deploy, and operate two prototype satellites, KuiperSat-1 and KuiperSat-2. And the blog post goes on to say these satellites are important to test the communications and networking technology that will be used in our final satellite design and help us validate launch operations and mission management procedures that will be used when deploying. Amazon will launch the satellites from the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida on ABL Space Systems RS-1 rocket. And these prototype satellites will operate at an altitude of 590 kilometers. And if you'll remember, all the way back in February 2018, SpaceX launched two test satellites for Starlink and the first batch of 60 satellites in May of 2019. This is our first launch of a production design satellite system uh, as part of our effort to launch a next generation broadband internet satellite constellation. Public beta began in October of 2020 and here we are in November of 2021 and the service just exited beta. So actual service will probably be available for Project Kuiper in 2025. Amazon has FCC approval to launch 3,236 low Earth orbit satellites, while SpaceX has approval for nearly 12,000. Amazon has previously stated that Project Kuiper will offer speeds on par with terrestrial broadband networks. They also mentioned that their customer terminal antenna prototype was delivering speeds up to 400 megabits per second, and they think that the performance will continue to improve. And let's talk a little bit about ABL. They are preparing to have their first RS-1 launch from Kodiak Island, Alaska, with a launch period extending to December 15th. And this rocket builder recently raised an additional $200 million in a funding round, valuing it at $2.4 billion. They plan to use these proceeds to scale up RS-1 production to meet projections for eight launches in 2022 and 16 in 2023. Now, this company is based out of California in El Segundo, which is not too far from where I actually grew up. They say that RS-1 can place up to 1,350 kilograms into low Earth orbit using a launch system that can be fully containerized and moved to different locations. So I want to know from all of you, I know some of you guys already have Starlink. Some of you guys are desperately waiting on Starlink. And some of you guys might just be interested in this whole network of low Earth orbit satellites and different companies and countries uh, throwing their hat in the ring. So I want to know what you guys think about Project Kuiper. Is this something that you would ever consider? Is this something that you're even interested in? Again, we haven't heard much information until recently, so I thought that this was worth sharing with you guys. Of course, my main focus is Starlink, but this is relevant information, so hopefully you learned something new, and let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys down there.